most is that as actors, and Sean will tell you this, we, we think we're so brave. <laughs> and people say to actors all the time, oh, that performance was so brave. <laughs> but you don't really understand courage until you think about what it means to sacrifice, to be willing to sacrifice what you all are willing to sacrifice. I cannot imagine your courage, Shoshana. I am, am so deeply grateful for your service. The most that I can do is, is try to pour my heart and soul into telling a story that even approximates your courage. And so these women in the 6888, they, I feel like, taught me about what courage looks like. And so one of the things I wanted to say to you tonight is that I would be remiss in this moment in our nation's history if I didn't invite us all to step into a little bit more courage. And I don't want to be controversial. I understand that whoever your commander-in-chief is, is your commander-in-chief. But I want to ask all of us in this moment to be as courageous as possible in choosing a commander-in-chief who will uphold the true ideals of freedom and liberty that so many of you have fought for. It's not my job as an actor to tell you who to vote for or what to do, but I do ask that you in this moment, in these coming weeks, that you challenge yourself into just a little bit more courage, not only by making sure that you vote, but by reaching out to friends and family members and having those difficult conversations. We all know people who maybe are thinking that they want to sit it out, or maybe who are thinking that they want to support a candidate who may not be in their best interest. So I ask you to be brave in these coming weeks, and I pledge to you that what I have learned from the 6 AAA is that country is more important than individual comfort. And so I will spend the next almost three weeks working as hard as I can to try to protect the democratic ideals and principles that I think we truly deserve to continue to march toward. I want to thank everyone here so much for supporting the millions and millions of women who have helped to make this country what it is. I can't wait for you all to see the film. Um, and I'm deeply grateful to be here and for this honor. Thank you.